Hey, what's going on guys? Today I just want to walk through some of the other stuff that I do in my life uh, along with writing. So there's definitely be the writing and the training aspect in it today. But uh, what I do, you know, outside of my writing, like no one really gets to see. So there's a couple things that I do. One is uh, I'm a full-time youth pastor. So that's my real job. That's my first time job. Like that's my first priority rather. Um, on top of that, I run a successful coaching business too, where I coach uh, all kinds of different cyclists. You know, I think right now I've got around 25 athletes is how many I have, pretty much full at the moment. Um, I've got like one or two spots available because a couple of people are, are dropping out this next month. But aside from that, uh, that's, you know, those are some two of the main things that I do outside of writing. And I'm also a full-time college student, so I'm working on college stuff right now too. And that's what's going on right there. Anyways, it's, I don't know, about 8 o'clock in the morning. I usually get up around 6.37 and grab my coffee, come in here. And the first thing I do is I, I get to work on some stuff. Uh, and today's Monday, so there's a lot of things that I kind of get done today to set me up for success during the week. Anyways, let's knock out some work. Then we'll have some breakfast here in a bit and go out and get a ride done. I want to show you how to make my favorite pancakes. Literally, uh, is the breakfast that I do almost every single morning, all right? Super easy, just need some egg whites, uh, some low-fat cottage cheese, and you need some Quaker oats. First, you need to get a half cup, and I don't have a half cup, what the heck? All right, super simple. Half cup of oats. And uh, you need a half cup of egg whites. Egg whites are a super good source of protein and it's not as fattening. Anyways, whatever, I don't know. I just made that up. But I do know they are a good source of protein. But uh, so you do half cup of oats, half cup of egg whites. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, and then you just need a fourth cup of the cottage cheese. The cottage cheese, yeah? When that's all said and done, literally, uh, you just blend it. Blend it until it's ready. Actually, uh, I just blend it until it's super smooth consistency, so boom. And now it's done. After you blend it like that, take your good old baking powder, and uh, it takes about, I don't know, half a teaspoon. Put a half a teaspoon of baking powder into it. Give it just a quick little mix, not like a long mix, just a super quick little mix. And that will get baking powder in there and it will make your pancakes now rise when you cook them. And then all you gotta do after that is add some walnuts. I like walnuts. You may not be nuts about walnuts. See what I did there? Anyways, uh, so baking powder, and then after that, we just kind of blend it back up again. Boom, bada bing, bada boom.
Give a little, little bit of love right here. You can use walnuts if you want to. You don't have to do a lot of walnuts. I like walnuts, so, you know, I do a little handful like that. So remember, this is gonna make like two pancakes, like two good sized pancakes. All right, and you take the walnuts, pretty much just chop them up, get them all nice and fine. Is that what they, they say, get them all nice and fine? I have no idea. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just cutting walnuts. This is super fun. Keep trying to run away on me. It's ridiculous. You just add them in. There you go. And then the last and most important step is to get a handful of blueberries, just a handful of blueberries and then uh, just drop them in there. So now you got blueberry walnut pancakes, homemade. That's how, uh, that's how I roll, I don't know. You can get creative, you can make smiling faces with them. You can uh, just put them in there randomly as if it just randomly happened like they fell from the sky. Um, you can write, write stuff in there with them, create words. I don't do that because I don't got time for that. I just want to eat my pancakes. So I just, you know, do a little, mmm, right there. That guy looks good. Boom! Bam! Fly up power. Anyways, there's your pancakes. Cook them as normal, flip them, throw some uh, maple syrup on there afterwards. Blueberry walnut pancakes. Homemade, super healthy, great uh, profile of carbs, very high in carbs. And it also has a good healthy profile of protein as well. Okay, a little bit about today. I know I'm wearing my kit in the car like a like weirdo. I feel so weird. I feel like I'm going to a Halloween party or something. I'm crying out loud. Anyways, Today's workout, uh, so it's base season, but today I got a lot of VO2 on tap. Now, it's not like full-blown VO2, it's like this kind of like workout where you kind of hit a little bit on everything, because during the base season, you never really do any VO2 work. So you have to do some sort of VO2 work, otherwise you just lose all of it, right? So you, the best thing you wanna do is you wanna try to just maintain what you have and uh, not, not let any of it decline. So every, about every two weeks, uh, my coach will give me a VO2, like some VO2 blocks during the week. And then the same thing with like my athletes, I'll do the same thing like right now in the off season. I'm sure a lot of them are like, oh man, I got VO2s this week. Or others are like, oh man, we got VO2s next week. Like, you know, it's, it's tough because it's different because you haven't done it all off season, but it's super important. So today on tap, what we have is we have a little bit of everything when it comes to VO2. We got two minute efforts, like two minutes on, two minutes off. Um, and then after that, we have some one minute efforts where it's, you know, one minute on, three minutes off. And then to top it off, we finish it out with, uh, I think it's like two 30 second efforts but, uh, is what I'll be doing too. Uh, full gas, max 30 second efforts. And I'm actually gonna do this workout twice this week just to get a decent little uh, stimulus of VO2 in there and then the rest of it's gonna be, you know, traditional sweet spot stuff. But it's important to do that during the off season. So right now I'm actually driving out uh, to get my ride in. There's a spot with a nice hill on it where uh, it makes it really easy to do these. The hill is kind of like, the hill is super short. It's like, a, literally like a two minute hill at 420 watts, it's like a two minute hill. So uh, that's what I am going for. And uh, anyways, yeah, super fun. Hope you enjoy uh, this part of the workout, because uh, I'm not.
Oh, we did. Not we. I was, I'm sorry to say we because Nick's always with me. I did three by 30 seconds. Like 696, 652, 693. So solid considering I did three by two minutes at about 425, 430. Then I did three by one minute at 515 to 525. And then I did three by 30 seconds, about 650 to 700. Ow! Woo! Overall, super solid ride. Uh, let's go home and smash the recovery shake. Actually, let's stop by Walmart on the way home to pick up our groceries. So when you're waiting for your groceries at Walmart, start watching Tyler's video. He's talking about my KOM right now. Anyways, it's so good to have a teammate that uh, really pushes you a lot and whatnot. Uh, me and Tyler always go back and forth on different stuff. It's like, it's super cool. And honestly, I usually have a little bit of the upper hand just because I'm definitely like five pounds lighter than him. Um, he pushes a little bit more power than what I do. Um, actually right now, I think we're pretty much almost identical on the power we can push, but because of my five pounds, it gives me a little bit of an advantage. Um, but he's, we're always going back and forth on KOMs. And I had a KOM in his area and he just poached it by two seconds, which uh, I know he's been trying to go after on for like three years because I got it three years ago and he was so ticked. But uh, overall, I think that's super funny. Um, I'm gonna have to go out there in the next week or so and maybe try to take that one back. We'll see what happens. Anyways, back to Tyler's video, which is money. Check it out. So I wish that I had actually gotten on camera right now. But anyways, we're out here waiting. I mean, it's like, it's ridiculous how long we were waiting for groceries. Uh, this lady next to me though, her car died. So she needed a jump and I got jumper cables. So I pulled up next to her, jumped her car, let her go. And then uh, here comes my food now. I'm not in a bay. <laughs> so something I wanna share is I wanna share my post ride smoothie. Now, usually I take this within 30 minutes of finishing my ride, but honestly, I had to go to Walmart and pick up groceries, which took, you saw, over an hour. It was ridiculous. Anyways, uh, let's talk about smoothie. So here we go, post ride smoothie. It's a peanut butter chocolate smoothie. Basically, you need a cup of water. You need some sort of protein. I use muscle milk. So uh, just, and I usually just do one scoop of protein. So this is 25 grams of protein chocolate protein, preferably, preferably chocolate. The other thing that works really good is bananas. So I'm gonna put a frozen banana in there. Lastly, peanut butter. Uh, we're gonna do just basically a spoonful of peanut butter. There you go. And then you just blend it all up and boom. Recovery smoothie. There you go, peanut butter chocolate smoothie. It's got, uh, literally this is gonna be around, I don't know, 350 calories. You got a banana, which is gonna be good for uh, the potassium and different things. And it's gonna be, you know, mostly the carb that's in this drink. The muscle milk is gonna provide 25 grams of protein and there's some, some good carbs in there too. And then uh, that gives it its chocolate flavor as well. And then the peanut butter is gonna supply another like five grams of protein and some really good, you know, healthy fats and the water is gonna be the hydration of it. Anyways, it's about 350 calories, a decent amount of carbs. I wanna say around 50 grams of carbs and then you got about 30 grams of protein. So this is perfect for a post-ride recovery. Yeah, yeah, so it's, um, it's a recovery like building ride, so in the description, um, it, it talks more about what it is, but it just says, you know, it says uh, warm up 45 to 60. We kind of, kind of got a pretty brutal uh, weather uh, starting yesterday, so we got a little bit of a delay, but uh, we're going to be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, um, I mean, one of the big deals for like not giving actual structure on the recovery day is like, I don't want you to really worry too much about it mentally. Oh, gotcha. You know, oh, you gotcha. just know, hey, for the first, you know, say you're gonna ride for two hours. The power and the, 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 the heart rate actually kind of saved pretty much on the same zone. So I was kind of happy about that. You kind of showing that actually the work I did, because the TSS and, uh, and the hours I did on, it, on, on the last week's plan, that was like my biggest, um, yeah. It was, I mean, that was super solid. And I know the high, the high cadence stuff can be a little bit challenging at times. And then when you go low cadence, you're doing the opposite. You're letting your aerobic system, your heart rest, and then you are doing all muscle. So it's yeah. kind of a cool thing though, because then you'll learn when you're riding, you know, sometimes it's like, okay, we're almost done with this steep climb. You know, I'm going to take it up to a hundred plus cadence and just spin over the top. Um, and finish it out, or you know, maybe you're maybe you're on a climb and you feel comfortable, yeah. but your heart rate's climbing. Well, it's like okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go up a gear and make it a little bit harder to bring the cadence down so I can bring my heart rate down, but yeah, keep but cool. keep pushing the same power. So that's yeah, the exactly. that's the cool thing about it. It kind of sucks, but dude, in a couple of weeks you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is this is crazy. A hundred plus cadence isn't as hard anymore. So, so Alright, you too, Matt. I'll talk to you later. Right. Yep. Bye. Bye. Hey, wifey. All right, so this is, I should introduce, this is my wife, Heather. Um, we kid all the time that she's Amish because why? Why do we kid that you're Amish? Because I grew up in Pennsylvania. Okay, it's more, no, it's different. Okay, listen, <laughs> you didn't just grow up in Pennsylvania. You grew up like 30 minutes, 30 minute, fr see, Amish is on the mic. You, you grew up literally 30 minutes <laughs> From the Amish, like when I did my eighth grade field trip and like went out to the East Coast to check it out, uh -huh. we went to this town called Intercourse, okay? And that was like what thirty minutes from where you grew up. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Therefore, you are Amish. Um, okay. But all kidding aside, uh, you never get to see her because she's never on camera. But she does a million other things, like um, at races you do the feed zone. Uh huh. For like. Team. <laughs> for the whole team, but you really don't like it sometimes <laughs> because because I get chucked in like the stomach or I know. something. What's up with guys on their bikes and throwing full blown water bottles like full off their bike into the feed zone? She's been hit in the stomach like twice by that. It's like jerks. Anyways, uh, what do you do? What do you? Which, so what's your day job? So it's different than mine. Absolutely, because it's very like rigid. <laughs> I know. So, do you work from home? No, I work. No. I work at a school, um, right. right down the street. It's called Senior Academy, and I am the site sub. So I'm there every single day. Before, um, the first three months, I was a long-term sub for a third grade, and that was super cool. I was like, I am like real teachering it, like. 
Yeah. Yeah. I know that's not. Ba so basically, your elementary teacher, but you just substitute right now in your long term sub, which is awesome. Um, and aside from that, since I work at home and my schedule is super flexible, and I work nights, obviously, because of church stuff. I get to ride during the days, and it actually works out pretty good because I'm usually gone while you are gone, so then it's not a big deal. Like, my riding doesn't really get in the way. Except for Saturdays. They are terrible. <laughs> Saturday, yeah, Saturdays kind of suck because I go out four to five hours, which really translates into... Like, eight, eight hours. Eight hours, <laughs> yeah. It's never a short... Anyways, this is my wife Heather, and I know that you guys never get to see her. She's super quiet and doesn't really jump on camera. Like, she'd be like, well, yeah, I'm filming. She runs the other direction. <laughs> so, I'm like, um, you're gonna be a goofball on the um, YouTube, so I'm gonna go the other way. Yeah, anyways, super lame. But uh, I showed you my whole day, and it kind of looked like I was single all day, but that's because she has a job during the day, so I'm actually not single. And uh, on top of that, I mean, we have dinner together. We, uh, we make all kinds of homemade stuff together. Tonight we didn't have dinner together because you were doing something after, you had a doctor's appointment or something after your, after school today, so you got home a little bit later today. But that's okay, right? Right. Right, that's okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Keep riding and training hard. And I will see you guys on the next video. What are you, what are you smiling? What? <laughs> Wait, is that funny to you? You're so cute. Are my outros funny to you? You're like, uh, I'll uh, see you next time. i see you next time. <laughs> well, I know. I'm not actually going to see you. I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh. I'm like, you're not actually seeing them. They're seeing you. Oh, okay. We're done. That's it. We're done. <laughs>